how tough is it when this you guys are getting those open looks? You and Jason both got a lot of good looks from the three, and it's just not going down. It seems like it, that's kind of the downfall in a game like this. Uh, yeah, I thought we had a lot of good looks. We um, moved the ball um, really well, um, and they made some some tough baskets. Um, they came out, they came and outplayed us really. Um, I thought we did our job um, for the most part, but they they came to play. Um, T. Rowe played had a, a good game. Miles Bridges. They just made some tough shots. Kelly Uber. They got a lot of weapons um, over there, and they came ready to play. So um, they outplayed us tonight. When when the three isn't falling for you guys, do you guys need to be more aggressive, attack the basket, or just will them in? How do you kind of approach it when you have nights like this? Uh, I mean, I think the easy answer is to try to get to the basket more, but. Um, this NBA don't really work like that. You got seven footers down there. You got to make the right play. Um, and we had guys, We at times we try to be overly aggressive and get to the basket anyway, but sometimes that leads to turnovers and, and even worse basketball. So, um, you know, we got to keep taking the open shots. And I think sometimes we pass up looks at times, but, you know, for the most part, we got really good looks. Um, they just, I think they outplayed us tonight. Do you see this team... Five out of last, you won five of the last seven. Do you see progress? Do you see you guys kind of turning the corner? Um, yeah, I think that we've gotten better, especially from the beginning of the season. I know I've gotten better being able to see things, you know, making plays, you know, um, et cetera, trying to, you know, get my teammates more involved. Uh, we still got, you know, to keep striving and keep going, you know, get Rob back, um, get Smart back and continue to just build on it. But, you know, over the last, what, 10 games, I think that, we for sure have made progress. You know, it's hard to win in this league. Um, so uh, we got to continue to, to, every night it's hard to win in this league. You know, every night, you know, you got to come to play with your best. And, and Charlotte came and they outplayed us tonight. Yeah, you mentioned Terry, who's clearly having fun out there after he hit back to back threes, stuck his tongue out. Uh, what did you have to say to him afterwards? And what is it about him in this building? Yeah, he was having way too much fun out there. Uh, I ain't say nothing to him after the game because we lost. But, you know, Terry's a good player. You know, that's my guy. Um, we didn't do a, uh, we did a, a, a all right job, a solid job on him, but he just felt too comfortable out there. You know, he's made some shots in this building before. So he got hot. So we can't let that happen. But uh, yeah, Terry Rosell's been playing well. He's been, had a great season. Um, and, you know, that's what T Row does for the ball. Most part, we got it better. When you do have two teammates in foul trouble, how difficult is it for the group to stay aggressive? Um, it's not difficult. No, we just got to continue to play basketball. You know, uh, we got you know guys we asking to step up and be aggressive and consistent. We got to continue to do that and uh, play well. We got to find some consistency from night to night. Can't be one night you know you play well and then the next two nights you gonna kind of chill. Everybody got to come every single night ready to play, you know, with the mindset and be prepared and be consistent and be professional. And that's what we got to do better. Um, just, you know, have a little bit more consistency, but we have shown that. I think we have been more consistent than not. Um, tonight, I think Charlotte outplayed us though. I mean, you guys did have a chance, cut it close there in the end. Why weren't you able to get stops? Um, they made some tough baskets. Um, I, I think I got to watch it again, but you know, they were just, you know, I felt like our defense was solid. It wasn't great. It wasn't our greatest defensive night, but I feel, I still feel like they just made some shots that kind of deflated us a little bit. Like great defense, high hands, like Miles Bridges hook shot, you know, or, you know, one leg, McDaniels uh, fading away, away from the basket, or, you know, T. Rowe shooting a, a step back three in the corner. You know, they, it was just, you know, shots that, you know, um, we want them to shoot, they'd knock down. Thank you. You said uh, you want to be more consistent, more professional. What do you mean by the professional part? Like, what are you trying to do to set that standard? What's the question? Uh, what you said you wanted the team to be more consistent and more professional. And I don't know what, what you mean by professional. So could you explain what you mean by that? Um, you got to come to work every day. You know, that's what professionalism is. I don't know how to describe it any more than that. Um, I guess, like, how is that not translating to the court? Like, what do you want to see on the court that represents that? Um, we just got to come and be ready to play every night. You know, we got to uh, perform 
every single night. We gotta have guys ready to play. We gotta have guys, we gotta hit shots, we gotta defend, we gotta move the ball. We just gotta be more consistent on a nightly basis. Talk about um, attacking and, you know, there's seven footers down there and sometimes the drive lead to turnovers. Does that get into your head sometimes where maybe some early drives lead to turnovers and you become kind of tentative to drive to avoid more turnovers? No, um, you just read the game and be aggressive. Um, uh, we want to get to the basket more. Uh, I think that's the question I was responding to, especially if the shots are not going. You want to get to the basket more, but I said uh, sometimes getting to the basket results in turnovers. If you're being overly aggressive, you got to hit the open man. That's what the NBA is about. So I know we're not making shots, but the, the, the answer that everybody says, drive to the basket more. And I said, it doesn't work like that all the time. Sometimes you can be force it and create turnovers. So we got to continue to hit the open man, knock some shots down, and if not, find other ways to impact the game. But we got open looks. Just got to uh, make them more consistently. Wrap it up right there. Thank you, Jalen. Thank you.